Ginkgo biloba is one of the most popular adaptogens for brain health. It's one of the most well-researched supplements in the realm of nutrition for cognitive health and enhancing circulation. Ginkgo tree is native to Southeast Asia and can grow upwards of 50 meters tall. Yeah, it's pretty tall. It has been widely used in traditional Chinese medicine from different stuff from like libido and energy to brain health, cognition and even reducing stress and improving mood. It's a potent natural plant rich in numerous antioxidants which are actually responsible for most of the benefits that ginkgo can exert. Most of its supplement come from a ginkgo biloba extract which is extracted from the ginkgo leaf. Benefits and uses of ginkgo biloba. Most of ginkgo's benefits come due to its vasodilatory effects, which is enhancing blood flow by opening or increasing the diameter of our blood vessels. This way, more nutrients and oxygen and water can come in and do its thing. This is why it has been widely used for enhancing sexual function, increasing energy levels, and also optimizing brain health. But the most specific niche that it has been researched well in is improving cognitive performance. One thing that stands out about ginkgo is that it doesn't just help elderly people with mood disorders or poor memory, but it has also been shown to have certain benefits in younger populations as well. Disclaimer, all these benefits here are just potential and nothing is 100% for sure because some studies are small, some are bigger, some are funded, some are solid, some are not, and so it's kind of like on you to decide, but it's we'll go throughout some of the research and comment a few thoughts on it. One of the superpowers of ginkgo is it is very potent in antioxidants. Ginkgo is full of phytochemicals like phenolic acids, proanthocyanins, flavonoids and terpenoids. Now if this doesn't mean anything to you, it's just a group of nutrients that are considered to be potent antioxidants. Now why do we love antioxidants? Well basically, all that we do in life causes certain levels of inflammation and oxidative stress and DNA damage that equals aging. So the more inflammation and OS and DNA damage we have, the faster we age. Antioxidants can sort of postpone these by neutralizing the damage, aka neutralizing free radicals, meaning that our bodies can be younger and more vital for longer. This is the main reason why antioxidants are so popular and promoted in enhancing various aspects of health. The three most powerful bioactive compounds in ginkgo biloba are camphorol, quercetin and ginkalides. Now let's talk about brain health. Brain health and increasing cognitive performance is one of the main functions or main benefits that ginkgo has and it's a pretty well researched topic. So science says that there are three main mechanisms by which ginkgo could improve cognitive health. First one is the increase in glutamate. Glutamate is an activatory, it's a stimulatory neurotransmitter that can help your brain be more alert, focused, sharp, thus improving memory consolidation and learning itself. Second thing is increase in acetylcholine, a key neurotransmitter that helps neural signaling. Basically, it's a fancy term for saying making this cognitive processes like thinking and learning and memorizing a bit smoother. It does this by inhibiting an enzyme that breaks down acetylcholine named acetylcholine esterase. And third proposed mechanism is enhancing blood flow, which you know can help our brain health in various ways. One of those is removing plaque from the brain, detoxifying the brain quicker and also bringing more fresh nutrients in the brain to produce more energy. Ginkgo biloba use has been linked to improved behavioral performance and working memory tasks in 19 healthy men aged 50 to 61. In 262 cognitively intact adults over 60 years of age, ginkgo biloba use improved aspects of recognition and memory recall. 
Next, let's talk about neuroprotection. Why is ginkgo considered a potent neuroprotector, aka protector of the brain? Well, as you've heard before, many antioxidants neutralize free radicals and work to reduce oxidative stress, inflammation and DNA damage. And natural nootropics with these kinds of potent antioxidants do that very well in the brain. In and of itself, that is their main neuroprotective mechanism. The less inflammation and oxidative stress in the brain, the younger will be, the more or the longer our brain can function properly. There are also many studies in animals which says the ginkgo could affect neurogenesis, which is the regeneration of your neurons. It's not exactly as muscle regenerating itself, so that's what we should differentiate between, but the research is quite promising that it could potentially boost two factors, brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF, and NGF, or nerve growth factor, that could affect neurogenesis and neuroplasticity. This could potentially make our brain more adaptable, more plastic, aka it can learn better, it can memorize better, which is the way to reduce cognitive decline. A large study with a 20-year follow-up showed that those who used EHB761 ginkgo extract had better cognitive performance and slower cognitive decline. There are also other studies showing ginkgo biloba's positive effects in patients with Alzheimer's disease in improving memory, reducing stress and managing daily activities. Another meta-analysis showed that 22 to 24 week EGB761 treatment improved psychological symptoms of dementia. Then it's mood and well-being. Ginkgo biloba, as well as numerous other adaptogens, are promoted as an anti-stress tool. Why? Well, adaptogens are known to promote a slight stressor to the body that are making our bodies more capable of fighting stress and adapting to it. So there is some potential to reduce hyperactivity in the brain, which can act anti-stress and also reduce general anxiety. There is some research backing up ginkgo's use in improving mood, and one of the proposed mechanisms is increasing dopaminergic function. Now, it's a fancy way of saying it increases a hormone known as dopamine, that is a very potent neurotransmitter that regulates a ton of different stuff, but essentially it makes us feel more motivated, satisfied, thus enhancing our well-being. So in elderly, research has actually shown a reduced rates of depression and anxiety and also improvement in psychological health and neurological function. So take it with a grain of salt based on which population it could work in, but basically the mechanism we know of is increasing dopamine levels. Next thing we'll talk about is libido. So in traditional Chinese medicine, ginkgo is actually known as one of the most potent libido boosters or better yet, a sexual function promoter. So the way adaptogens like ginkgo work is by improving circulation. Improving circulation is important because it can be one of the causes of erectile dysfunction. So if ginkgo extracts can improve blood flow, it could theoretically help erectile dysfunction. So ginkgo biloba extracts have been shown to increase endothelial nitric oxide, which is just a gas that just makes blood flow better by opening the diameter of our blood vessels and still it's the vasodilatory effect that just enhances blood flow. So there is some support, but the evidence on this is not quite strong. So I would take it with a grain of salt. Forms, types and ginkgo supplementation. So there are different forms you could take ginkgo in. There are capsules, there are powders, and there is extract forms. Some people even use tea, so they'd make a tea from the ginkgo leaf, which I would consider to be the most natural way to get a little bit of exposure to ginkgo. But most studies, most research uses a 120 to 240 milligrams daily of a ginkgo extract called EGB761. Tolerance buildup is possible, so cycling as much as I've seen in her is recommended. So all in all, I would consider ginkgo biloba as one of the herbs or adaptogens that I would add to my stack if neuroprotection, cognitive performance and brain health were one of my goals. It seems like a good all-arounder and the data is pretty good on this one. It's actually one of the few well-researched natural nootropics on certain aspects of cognitive function and brain health. If you want to check the science more in depth, check out this article at vitalsend.com or just go in the search and type ginkgo. We go through it all, the uses, the benefits, the types, the science behind it, so you can check that out. That's it. Thank you for watching and I'll check you in the next one. Bye.